All right. Welcome back, folks. Roth here. Let's insert the cartridge for Nintendo Switch Sports. Gonna be hopping onto that. There is a new outfit that's available, and also a new body. And you'll see what exactly that body will be. Pretty excited, though. Although, here is a little clue to what that little body would be. Boink. <laughs> yep. We're about to see it in a few seconds. Once this loads. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Show wing. There we go. Yep. There's going to be a rabbit body. I don't know if they call it rabbit body or bunny body. I think rabbit body. Looks a little fun. I like the pants. It's uh, pretty baggy. It's like a, a monocle that it's wearing. I'm not sure what kind of eyewear that, that is. That looks like a monocle. It's giving off a peace sign, so that's pretty neat. I like how the tail sticks out. It's very Eastery, so I do like what they're going, like how they're going about this. Very toony looking uh, rabbit. And it, it's, it is what I expected them to do uh, last year. Made some predictions. I thought they would have like uh, like snowman and stuff. There, and then it just happens to have snowman body for the winter season. And now fast forward into April, April 1st, that is today, and now we have a rabbit body to celebrate Easter, so it's quite nice. This will be fun to unlock. I'm still wearing last week's outfit. I, f I forgot what this was called, but I'm going to log in and check out last week's set and also this week's set. Gonna see what items are available. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. New rabbit collection, there you go. Man, I wrote it out as rabbit body instead of rabbit collection. But uh, I may I may want to rename the video afterwards. The video title, I mean. To rabbit collection. Uh, ooh, it looks like... Um, make sure to screenshot that. There's a, new, a couple new stamps. It's a... There's that banana that I saw. I think I saw that same banana last time. I'm not sure. I saw some sort of banana somewhere. Like some sort of like stamp or emoji or something like that. And this cool looking strawberry. Strawberry shortcake or strawberry cake. Fruit cake. Or some sort. Looking cool in the sun. Are those cherry blossoms? They look like cherry blossoms. Man. Man, they are so in theme with the season. Alright. Let's head over to items. Let's have a closer look. Uh, here's set number 48, the reverse collection. This is pretty much the angel and demon set uh, with the colors reversed. And here was last week's set, celebrity collection, set number 40, 49. And there's the full body there. Looking snazzy. I, I think I set myself to look like a smooth no. Pretty much. There's set number 50. So it's been like 50 weeks. Each of these weeks, um, there will be a new set. So we're almost reaching about a year of this game's release. Let's check out the outfit here. Pastel tail coat. It's very, I don't know. How to, I don't know how to explain, like, describe this one. It's like circusy in a way. Like carnival-like sort of a uh, design and there's like a variety of colors light colored um palette there's some yellows there's some whites there's like light purple there's a turquoise a little, little bit of greens some black some dots as well polka dot stripes it's a it's a very wild design but looks pretty fun Definitely Eastery for sure. It's got the pastel light colors. Rabbit ears. Gotta have the rabbit ears. I don't know if this is like colorifiable or colorized. Oh, 
or able to colorize or anything. But I think this is the standard color once you unlock it. So it might color along with whatever you select for the hair. I don't know, but we'll find out. And there's the monocle in gold. I don't know if they count this as a different color or maybe they have um, just that one single color for the monocle. But I feel like that monocle could be like, you know, uh, different colored, like how they have it for Animal Crossing. Pastel egg paint. Paint. Pastel egg. Pastel egg paint. Yeah. <laughs> A little bit tough to, to pronounce that one. Um, the design looks okay. I can't really tell that it's egg. Unless, you know, I, I've already known that it's like an Easter egg themed one, but... Purple striped egg. Swiggly lines. And then there's a blue striped one. Next to it. But yeah, it doesn't... I don't know, it doesn't really scream Easter for me. It'll be like a, like a symbol that I would not recognize, you know? Like half and half. Uh, let me check the uh, the new hair. Spiral curls, nice. Well, there's a devious banana. Looking funny. Looking devious of her, for sure. Spiral curls for the hair. Definitely like seeing different variations of the hair. I know, uh, if, you know some folks would love to, to wear all types of hairs. Track suit and camouflage. Okay. I mean, I see the camouflage pattern, which has like orange, tannish colors, some greens in there. I don't know. It, it's like there's some vegetation in there. <laughs> but um, I'm not sure if that would camouflage. Like, the purpose of camouflage is to look camouflagey. But then having that pattern against like black and white, I'm not sure if it's, I don't know, if it does what it's supposed to do, you know, but I guess it's just stylistic that way. But I do like how the tracksuit is in black and white, because I don't know if we've ever had like a plain black and white tracksuit, but this is probably the closest thing to that. Um, there, let me check look at the... Uh, Chill Strawberry, this is what they're calling it. Chill Strawberry. I dig that. I dig the chill vibe. That's like me all the time. Just chilling. <laughs> First uh, set of titles here. Solitaire, Activity, Team, and Effort. Hmm. I'm not sure if I would use any of these. Second set of titles here. We got Nutritious, Flower, Egg, and discover. Man, where have I seen discover? This I saw it somewhere earlier today. Discover. It, oh, it might have been um you know, it might have been the Tetris movie. Because I, I just finished watching that earlier today. It was somewhere on one of the buildings, it said discover. It's either discover or discovery. But um but yeah that, that Tetris movie is pretty fun. I um I like the pacing. The pacing was, um, it was pretty quick, you know, it kept you interested. And it, it reminded me a lot of, like, Pirates of the, Pirates of the Silicon Valley, 1999, if anyone had ever seen that. It was a story at which, um, you know, Microsoft and Apple first started. Sort of like a history, maybe a little biopic, but not so much a biopic. But, um, it was like drama history. I think those are two combinations for the genre. But uh, yeah, that was a, a good watch. Paris of the uh, Silicon Valley. Um, but Tetris, it's, it's sort of like that, but, you know, it's it's given that, you know, modern um, take where there's a lot of pixel graphics um, and how the, you know, the transition from scene to scene there's like a little animation for the, you know, ch just to give it like that Tetris uh, vibe to it. And also the music, they, they use a theme song for the Tetris theme and remixes it throughout the, uh, the entire film, which is pretty neat. Pretty well laid out and very 80s as well, as well. 80s set in Russia, Japan, 
little bits of Korea in there. Um, I don't remember if there were any parts of like North America, but there, there's some um, like the, you know there's some uses usage of like 80s music, which is pretty. We got cherry blossoms. Sweet. I don't know what this is for. Is this for? Oh, this is for the soccer gear. Okay. Oh, very nice. Very nice. We've been trying to do like um, cherry blossom hunts in Monster Hunter, in the Monster Hunter games. So in Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, there will be a quest that is uh, cherry blossom related, and it has uh, two Mitsusunes, which are land wyvern uh, sort of monsters and very Japanese like uh, or Japanese themed like an Eastern style wyvern design and also in Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate there'll be a cherry blossom quest that has you hunting a pink Rathian so lots of pink stuff so I'll definitely be um, using that I'll be swapping to that once I unlock it and there is Robot Blade Mod 2 for the Chumbra Sword. Looking cool. Looking like a... Is it like a Tron? It's still got a, like a, a Tron-like design to it. Maybe a little bit of Spar Star Wars. But yeah. And of course there's the Robot Body. This works for both boy and girl. So I guess we just get the same body, right? I'm not sure if there's any color differences, but... That is very neat. I like the little po uh, peace sign pose. I hope that was would be like a like a pose all its own. Like imagine if we we're able to do poses at the end of matches, just custom poses for our winning pose or whatever. Like if they allowed us to do that, that would be pretty neat. All right. Anyway, start up some randoms. We'll just random through each of the sports until we've gone through each one, and then we'll lock it down to a. Either golf or tennis, maybe just both golf and tennis because that's the only sport that um, that we'll, we'll need to upgrade to uh, bring it up to A class. As you can see, most of the other sports are already A class, so we're getting up there for sure. Also, not sure how the connection will be tonight. Um, we have a storm, we have a thunderstorms, and I just heard some rumbling um, a little earlier before I hopped on, and uh, rain just like started pouring for a moment there. It's like 10 minutes. I don't know if it's still going, so no idea if it's like going to come back or not, but yeah, we just had some rumbling just uh, just before. Oh man, looking smooth. Looking smooth. Man, coming back to this. Here we you gotta go. get used to the controls again. I also ordered um, a new Joy-Con. Left Joy-Con. I don't have it yet. I'm still using the other one, but um, but the new Joy-Con is on the way. From Nintendo. I did a little bit of shopping, and also the Nintendo 64 controller is back in stock. The um, the Switch version, or Switch Online version. Whoop! Oh my gosh! Come on! Kick! Here we go! Coming back, coming back. Oh boy. Oh man, I thought I had that. There, Keisha. Alright, he's coming down this way. Oh! <laughs> right above the ball. Oh, curve. Let's go, goalie. Nice. Pass it over. Oh, I get it in. Man, they had a chance right there. Let's see what they're going to pass it to.
<laughs> the shrug. I did a good job carrying that goal, though. That that gives me um. Oh 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 man! I think if I angle it a little bit better. Oh here. Oh my gosh, that was pretty close. Here the uh no way where are they gonna e ever gonna fix this uh connection issue for this game you cannot do a perfect run of this game without disconnect like it is bound to happen yeah good thing that we're gonna be retiring this once uh, we get all the costumes so yeah so the two more weeks right Two more weeks, April, we reach the one year anniversary of Nintendo Switch Sports. And then they start rotating the uh, the outfits week after week. So once that happens, once we get the final outfit, that is it for this game. <laughs> Gonna start retiring this and swap to Zelda instead. Zelda Saturday. That's what it's gonna be. Looks like bowling is coming up next. Ba -bum -bum -bum. But yeah, uh, new left joy cons coming in, and purchase a refurbished one, same color. That's the only one that's like available. It, it was there was the gray one, you know, the regular black gray one, and then there's the blue one that's available, and then there was a, a Mario red that I wanted. That was part of the Mario Odyssey set, but they sold out. They sold out on that one. Uh, so the only one they had available was the. Um, the blue one that I like, I think, and um, yeah, it was like 30 bucks. So I grabbed that along with the N64 Switch Online version, so Survive that way I'll be able to play um, some of the Golden Eyes stuff and N64 stuff on the Switch Online. Round one. But I feel like I paid more than I should. Um, I also um, made a report to maybe send in my current Joy-Con to get it fixed. I feel like I should have just only done that rather than, uh, you know, purchasing another one. But I didn't think before I bought it because who knows when the, the N64 controller is going to run out. So I made a quick choice to, to purchase another one. But yeah, uh, once that shipping thing arrives, I'll have to send in this current Joy-Con in. So I probably won't be able to play uh, Switch Boards or whichever games that requires it um, for a couple weeks until I can get the, the controller back. Unless... Unless that other Joy-Con arrives in time, uh, within the same week, and then I can probably pair it up with uh, Switch Boards. So we'll see. If things goes uh, according to plan. There we go, knock it out of the way. We are doing good, Keisha. How about you? Just got watching. Uh, just got done watching uh, the Tetris movie. I don't know if you've seen it yet, but um, it's a it's a neat thriller based on true story about how uh, Tetris, the game Tetris, came about. There's a quite a few things about Nintendo that's uh, that's shown in the movie. Um, but it's more like old school stuff, like 80s, take place in the 80s, so might be long before your time. I feel like it's long before a lot of people's times that, you know, people who would you know, bother to watch these streams, I, f I feel it's a, it's a younger crowd, mixed in with some of the older crowds around my age, but, um, but I feel like it's mostly like the younger crowd. 
But um, but yeah, the movie takes place in the 80s. There's a lot of 80s references in there that you might catch, but if you're a hardcore Nintendo fan, and maybe some of the um, maybe a little bit of Note Gear stuff, um, you may recognize something. Some references in there. Or, or yeah, I, I think if, if you're into like the old school Nintendo stuff, you recognize some things. But yeah, it was a pretty good watch. I think next in line for me, uh, in terms of like big movie mainstream, would be the Mario movie that's uh, arriving in a few days. Man, this outfit is... I mean, I, I guess the, the pink and the white matches. Try to contrast it with the uh, the darker colored hair and stuff. Ooh. Oh wow, that actually worked out. I thought it was going to curve out of the way or something. I'm sort of like swinging it at like a, like a slight angle, but... We're starting to, to roll towards the end there. That's good to hear. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I think it's only tonight that we're getting rain. Actually, I take that back because um, in a few days we'll be getting more rain. And I hope it doesn't rain too much on Wednesday because that is the day that we'll be watching um, that Mario movie. Try to get there for the either the first or second time slot when he starts screening. Though I'm not sure whether I should go for the 3D or the non 3D. There's an X Plus version for for my theater. Um, I have a, my local theater is just right down the street from me, and I haven't been there for a, a long while. And they have a. They have three tiers. There's the you know the standard movie, and then there's the the 3D version, which is a little bit more expensive. That's a few bucks more, and then there's the X Plus version, which is uh, 3D on top of that with the audio. So, it, 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 I think it's just like five bucks more than the standard. If I go for the X Plus. Just about like four or five bucks more, but um, I don't know. I don't know what I, if I want to go for the full X Plus or maybe just the regular standard. Because um, I feel like I might watch it more than once. I don't know in theaters. I mean, but um, I'm gonna have to see if they if they. I hope they offer something like you know a free poster or something for you know for purchasing a ticket. Because some theaters they do that. Uh, I saw that AMC is giving out um, tin cans or tin can tin buckets uh, for the popcorn along with the popcorn. So it's like a large popcorn, and then you can keep the the tin, the Mario themed tin bucket, which is um, a question mark block. So I don't know how the size of that is. I feel like it would be like a like like a handful size. Not too big of a size, I feel, but um, but from from the looks of the picture that they um they showed, it seems like it's gonna be I don't know, like you can hold it with two hands or something. So it might be a decent size. I don't know. Oh man, I keep on rolling at that uh weird angle there. Um, who else? I think Cinemark. Cinemark. We only have one Cinemark around here, and as of late, in the past year or so, they've been giving out. They've been selling like some 
really cool merch. Um, especially the, the popcorn buckets and bins. Um, namely, I, I could think of the, stream, the Scream 6 one that they offered, which has uh, Ghostface. Uh, oh, wow, we're in the top three. Sweet. And um, I made sure to, to, to get one of those because they've been selling like hotcakes uh, on eBay and stuff. But um, they brought it back um, earlier this year. And they did sell it for like three three times more than the original price. It was it was like somewhere around ten ish. But then they they put it back on their store, their online store for like twenty twenty five or something like that. Oh, a timer. Man, one pin off. Almost had it. Just a wiggle wiggle that a little bit. But uh, but yeah, I picked up that uh, that Scream Six one, and I don't think it's gonna arrive until like later in the year though. But um, I, I think it should arrive somewhere around August or September, just before the spooky season starts. And uh, yeah, Cinemark has also been um, offering some Mario themed bins buckets. And uh, the latest one that they've got for the Mario one is, it's got like Mario on it. It's like a typical like Mario poster that's on the um, the image of the bucket. So there's Mario on it, there's uh, Luigi and stuff, Bowser, so it's got the whole crew. Big Donkey Kong's party on it too. Amazing. Wow. You did pretty well. Just like ranting the, the entire time. Finish. Alright, there we go. 189. Oh, look at the cute bunny ears in the back. We got uh, two players with cat ears, and now we've got the bunny ears. So that's pretty neat. This is... I, I feel like this game is, is sort of almost becoming complete soon. I feel like the, the one thing that they're missing is the like the full cat body. Now we have the full bunny body. So I feel like it's getting there. And, and the best thing that they could ever release would be the cat body. And or a dog body. I think either of the bodies would, would uh, work well, but if they have dog ears, uh, and then I guess it would go along with the cat ears too, like that would be great. That would be the um, end all be all. But who knows what they're going to do for the next uh, two weeks, right? Ooh, wow. Just a few points away from uh, completing that first item. Or bowling. I'm side facing you. Oh, yeah, they don't want you to, to twist the um, the Joy-Con that way. Uh, the face buttons needs to be facing you when you when you start to roll. All right, next sport. I feel like tonight um, we'll probably do an extended extended session uh, once we have the the bunny body unlocked. So. Oh my gosh, not another connection issue. Man, they have to fix this. I can't... We can't be, um... I don't know, this, this is the actual experience of uh, Switch Sports. You'll, you'll come across connection issues and drops wherever you go. I mean, that is when, when you uh, select the global... Volleyball. Play globally selection. When you play online. I mean, not everyone has like a solid connection for this, but I know, man. Is there any way that they could uh, compress like the the data that's being sent back and forth? Who knows? All right. Going against S class players, huh? This is how the matchmaking is going to be. If we play too well, they team us up with uh, higher ranked players.
power shot. I like how the person that is on my side is uh, wearing uh, Splatoon colors. Splatoon 2, specifically. Whoa. Because Splatoon 2 would be like pink and green. And then um, Splatoon 3 would be blue and yellow. Or something like that. Nice one. Nice! Ooh. Nice one. No, <laughs> like how the character just like pauses in the air. Power shot. Oh man, slide. Oh, nice one. Good save. Man, I tried to go for that, but like I try to walk towards it or try to rush to it, but um. My character was just walking towards it instead of uh, running towards it. Ooh, thought it was gonna slip through. Yeah, I might wanna do like an early jump. Hmm. Power shot. Nice try. Oh. What? Oh, nice. Oh, did not expect that, did you? There we go. Power shot. Oh man, I save. Really? Oh wow. What a good save. What kind of pass is that? Got it. Oh no, sorry. I don't know why I shot her over there. Two and two right now. Let's try to fake him. Get it? Eh, how did I hit it so... So well with that. Ooh, that's a nice one right there. Look at that block. Bam! Good angle, man. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, I felt that in my temp fingertips. Mmm. What? Man, I flew right by, man. 3-3. Three, three. This one's a tough one. S-Class players, man. There we go. We got a score. <laughs> man, I went like... 
L shape, then hit it across. Here we go. <laughs> Power shot. Bam. Oh, the block. A little early there. Oh. Oh, what? A little late bounce there. Oh, man. Ooh, nice one. Got it. Oh, nice save. Got it. Oh, nice save. So I cannot do that. I cannot do like an art shot like that. I dove for that. Man, this is one sweaty match. Neck and neck right now. There we go. Far out bounce. That's what you gotta do right there. You bounce it out of court. Get a score. What? Man. Deuce it up real quick. No idea who's gonna win. Nice one. Power shot. Early. Nice. Early. Hmm. Try to get that, yo. Come on, guy. Got it. Oh, nice. Man, what is this game? Look at that. Neck and neck, man. Alright. One more point. Whoever team gets this wins. <gasps> Whoa! Good game. Good game. Man, we should get a whole lot of points for that. That was like neck and neck, each step of the way. We get one, they get one, we get one. I feel like that we led most of the way. Oh man, that should be like two items right there. Alright, finally, first item. We get the bunny ear straight away. Let's go straight to customize. We gotta have this on. Especially for April. April, April, April. Ooh, not the crown. Rabbit ears, here we go. Okay, let me see if I can swap out the uh, the stamps here. Oh, we got a dog, the donkey. 
What's a good one? I do like the volleyball serve here. What's it called again? Hooray sign. Interesting. I like the hearts. <laughs> I remember the tiger one. Tiger here. Empty headed. There's the angry friend that looks like there's bacon popping out. I like that one. Uh, the doggy ones are cute. Oh, I like the peace sign one. No. The two dog one is, is pretty cute too. But I feel like I want to maybe replace this one. Oh, I do want to get something that's like musical. I could probably bring back the um. Oh yeah, this one's this one's nice. The glee one. That one's a good starter. We got we got all the uh, the stamps starting from day one. There's a dinosaurs one. Sorry, forgot about. There's the handshake. That one's pretty cool. Oh, I remember the peach one. I used to use the peach one a lot. Hey, they're robotic. Oh man, see, like I like some of these dinosaur ones here. The pterodactyl. I used to use them a lot. Kaka, kaka. <laughs> oh man, I like the um, the sun and aurora borealis and stuff. I remember using those. All right. Oh man, I don't know. I might come back to these. Like I, I kind of wish that there's like a another four set, a set of four that we can use, but I don't know. All right, let's go back to random. Olivia. I have a cousin named Olivia. They live all the way in Washington, though. They come to visit um, every couple years. Sometimes year after year. Especially around like uh, during 2020. Well, not 2020, 2020. Like a little bit after. I think 2021 they came to visit. And then, and then I think last year as well. Yeah, usually around the summertime they would uh they would fly down over here. Yeah, Washington State. Just around um around Seattle. I've never been over there, but uh, they always my aunt that lives over there, like she wants me to go over there and visit. But uh, it will probably have to be like a, I don't know, when I feel like I want to go on vacation, I think. I think I might want to visit them. There's like a, another part of the family that I haven't met yet over there. Like at least the younger crowd. Because they, like a lot of my cousins back or, or over there that they would have kids um, that I haven't met yet, so. I was like, that me character looks like a uh, Bob Ross to that. Brothers from Seattle area too, nice. Sometime, yeah. I feel like sometimes probably the um the best time to go. I know that there's some areas um up around Washington areas where it's like very woodsy and mountainy. And I always think of like Twin Peaks. Like the show Twin Peaks, because there's a lot of mountainy areas like that. At least, uh, that's where the location of, um, of the, the show is, uh, shot at, or where it's based off of. Ooh, this might land on green. Yes, there you go. Nice song. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, even this scene right here in this in this golf course is it's it's, it's sort of I don't know sort of, sort of makes me think of like Washington like areas and stuff. I'm not sure if this is gonna hit it in. I'll try this angle here. 
Whoa, how about that? Get that birdie in there. <laughs> Man. Full-blown rainforest near Seattle? Oh, I bet. Rainforest, wow. Imagine... Imagine if they have like some sort of rain rainforest cafe. Remember, remember those rainforest cafes? They used to have them in a in a mall uh, by here. I don't know if they still have that, but um, I remember going into one when I was a kid. Is that is that still a thing? I don't know if there's like any other locations for for rainforest cafe. A lot of the old stores, they uh, they just no longer exist anymore. Ooh. Could have hit it a little harder. Yeah, I think... Uh, I'm trying to... Like, there's like a whole lot of stores that, uh, that used to exist. Like, uh, KB Toy Store... I saw somewhere that uh, Toys R Us is, is making a comeback, and Blockbuster is also coming back. Those are some of the oldest stores. Yeah, Toys R Us. Um, I, I think there are like a few locations that they've been uh, reopening, and they're planning more reopening soon, I think, from what I read last time. Ooh, this might be a... Actually, this might work out. Oh, not quite on green, but it's okay. Yeah, Blockbuster, man. You have any uh, Blockbuster memories? <laughs> I, there's, there's a few for me that I remember. Oh my gosh, we can't... Okay, let me try the wedge here. I think uh, one that springs to mind. Nice approach. Uh, I would visit Blockbuster, and they would have the the Pokemon Snap kiosks, which is a, a machine that you can print out like stickers, and you bring your Nintendo 64 cartridge, the Pokemon Snap cartridge, and uh, all the photos that you took in that game, you could print them out as stickers. And then use them to, you know, their stickers. You can choose to use them, whatever. So that was pretty neat. Neat little uh, promotion that they had with uh, Blockbuster. And they also had, like, sample stickers that came with the box when you when you purchased the game. And I still have it. Still have it pre-ordered. Um, I actually bought it the day it released, I think. Or at least within the week. But I'm pretty sure it was like on the day that it released because Funko Land, which is another store that closed down, no longer exists. I think they got bought out by like GameStop or whatever, whichever store it was that um that took over Funko Land. But um, well, Funko Land was the was the one place that I, I purchased that um Pokemon Snap for the N64 with my own hard-earned cash. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's probably the like one and only thing that I ever bought from uh, Funko Land in those years. Nice shot. Pokemon lost some functionality uh, recently, doing something to do with t Nintendo functionality. Not sure if I read about that. As in the mobile game, I mean, there's Pokemon Unite, there's Pokemon Go. But, um, I don't know, I haven't heard anything about that. Pokemon still runs under Nintendo, though. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. Olivia hit a tree. Hey, what does that OB mean? Oh, out of bounds, I think. Alright, 25 or 24 miles per hour. 
think, uh... Oh, that's a little light, but it's okay. Hmm. Alright, this is where we gotta be a little bit more careful here. Alright. Let's set the torch to the left a little more. See where this goes. Oh, whoa! Look at that! Oh my gosh! Wow! That would have been a really nice long shot right there. Man, look at how close that was, man. That was really close. That would have been like a... I don't know. Birdie or something. Better to do with saving your progress in database and it's no longer accessible. Hmm. hmm. Uh oh. Eliminated. I think we still got one more chance though. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't heard that yet. It could be related to either the, the mobile game, Pokemon Go. Because that would be on whoever the developer is for that game. Because um, they they set another studio to work on that specific uh, Pokemon game, and they're just using the uh, the Pokemon license. So if it's Pokemon Go, then that's probably something that um, that could be could be it. But it's neat to see that Pokemon Go is still going strong. Like they're still putting out like events and stuff, community events. Nice shot. Ooh, I don't think this is gonna land on green. Ba -da -bum -bum -ba -da. Wedge, no wins. Let's see how this goes. Man, that's I keep on hitting them really light for some reason. I need to like do some practice shots and just go for it. I think it's at 18 years worth of 18 years worth of data loss. Uh, um, you know, I mean, it is April 1st, so they could be, you know, April Foolsing, <laughs> uh, wherever you're reading the uh, the article from. So might be a might be a little wary on on where you read stuff nowadays, or at least on this specific day. Whoa! What? I think just like curved out of the way. Man. I mean, th there was a, a Go Nintendo podcast earlier today. And, um, you know, if it, it was true, <laughs> I would have known about it. Oof, man. What is happening with my swings now? See, now E3, now that is for sure um, not April Fool's. But yeah, there's no E3 this year. But, um, oh, is it going to be permanently? I mean, I don't think there's anything to worry about. Because there's still a Summer Games Fest that occurs around June. And it won't be like a venue or anything that you get to go to. Like, the public would not be able to visit that. But there's still going to be news flowing through. You know, games will still be announced around that time. So I think for us on the the end users, the the viewer base, like we'll still be, you know, excited for games. As you know, as new games are being announced. But we just won't be um you know, people that go to E3, like in person E3, they just won't be able to, you know, try out the games and, you know, meet people and stuff. That's mostly for the media. But you know, they, they reopen it, they close it for the public and stuff. Um, and it was, you know, it used to always take place at Nokia Theater slash Microsoft Theater. Um, but I guess if they close it down permanently, then there's more, no more of that, of that more, more of that physical convention stuff. Um, but there's like other conventions like uh, PAX East. That's a sure bet. Uh, Tokyo Game Show. That occurs like later in the year, towards the end of summer. Uh, GDC, 
which took place just before PAX East. Right around the same week, I think. Yeah, there was like there was like a couple of developers um, that went from GTC, then straight to PAX East in that same week. All right. Um, I think we're we're done with this game. <laughs> All right, let's head back. Man, sort of dropped the ball on the um, the final semifinals there, Mr. Bunny Guy. That's so much fun working on E3. E3 is fun to watch. Um, I remember when like it used to be really exciting. Just to, uh, because I remember have they, I used to have uh, access to G4 TV. I don't know if you ever watched G4 TV, but that's like a channel that you can. Um, I think it's part of the Spike channel, and I forget which year it was. It had to be like 2006, 2007, roughly around there. Maybe 2005. I don't know. Uh, it was definitely around when the Nintendo DS was a thing. And I remember that year was really exciting. Because we were waiting to see what... Oh, there's a bunny. Hello, Bort. Bort? Where have I seen Bort before? Oh, right. The, uh, the episode of The Simpsons. Bort. <laughs> Bort. Oh, man. Hello, Bort. Yeah, because um, like around that time we were excited to see what Nintendo's gonna announce. You know, it's always exciting to see what Nintendo's gonna announce. But uh, but yeah, those those years were exciting. And then like seeing what um, what they're gonna have for like the PlayStation side, the Xbox side, and um, just watching like you know G4 TV and seeing all the promotions that they had surrounding E3 like they had a little um, there was like this rendition of um, that song I forgot what the title of the song is called but that song used to be part of a show that I'm trying to think of as an old show but I remember how it goes the million stuff and they use that same song for the eBay commercial if you know what I'm talking about um, only on eBay something like that I don't know but they, they sang that song in a way where they, they fit the lyrics of E3. And I forgot who did it. It, it might have been... Um, I don't think it was Mega64. It was... Um, oh, I forgot. I don't know who it was. But um, yeah, they had that song just before E3 starts for that year. And I always remember that for some reason. When I would th whenever I think of E3, I think of that specific song that played during that... <laughs> during that year but um I don't know it's just something to it, it just felt exciting at that year or just for that um that specific year I gotta figure out which which year it was um I think Gamecock was also one of the companies um they were like a short-lived publisher they put out games like um Dementium on the Nintendo DS Oh, we got a disco ball. Let's go. It's a mirror ball. Looking cool in the blue. Yeah, I would have to like dig up um, some old E3 videos to see if I can find that one. Oh my gosh, that me character in the back there. Yeah, that had to be like uh, either 2005, 2006, 2007, some, somewhere in one of those years. There were some neat highlights of E3. I remember the uh, the old Konami one. Konami had a... There was one where uh, this guy... They had like a private con uh, conference. 
it was separate. Oh my gosh, couldn't even block that out. That was way too high for uh, for me to reach that one. Maybe if I did like a triple kick, I probably would have been able to reach it, but. But uh, I remember that guy, um, he went up to the microphone, he's like, uh, about to reveal their their next game. I think they had like wrestlers, like actual wrestlers, to promote whichever game it was um, that they were going to announce or whatever. And um, he was going like, extreme. <laughs> I always remember that extreme part. Yeah. It's just the way he says it. He had like long braided hair. Come on. Holy moly. Can we just kick it to the side, please? Oh my golly. Get it out of here. <laughs> kick it down. Oh my gosh. Why are you kick it to the center? Kick it down. Kick it down to the side. Get it away from the from the, the other team. Man, why would they kick it to the center like that? Like, that's an easy spot for the uh, the other team to to kick it in. But yeah, that, that Konami conference is just uh, hilarious. Watch the, the entire way through and just like, everything's always happening. Like, there's always something happening that's like, hilarious. <laughs> it's just an, a, a one awkward... The most awkward um, conference to watch is, is that Konami one. I forget which year it was. But it's definitely one of those years. Like 2006, 2007. But man. There's been some some really embarrassing, some some really awkward moments. And it's usually like a like a super cut video on YouTube that would pick out like some of the most like hilarious moments of E3. Nintendo had their uh, like the, the Wii music and controllers not working with a scabbard sword and stuff. I remember that. The drumming, the, the Wii music drumming, and Wii Fit. <laughs> My body is ready. Like all those, the memes, they, they get turned into memes later on. Yeah. We need we need more stuff like that. And, and only with E3, I think. It has to be E3. But I feel like the, the last few years of E3 has been um, a little less. A little less, uh, you know, fun to watch, I guess. I, well, I guess, I take it back. I, other than, like, Devolver, Devolver Digital, they have, like, the most creative, like, conference ever. Like, those guys are always fun to watch. They, al they always got something, like, weird going on. Like, this metaverse. I think last year's was, like, probably the most weirdest one <laughs> that they, they had. Because <laughs> they had, like, Suda-san, or Suda-51. Which is a um, developer that I'm I'm familiar with. Love all his work. Love his love all his games. Um, he's the guy behind uh, No More Heroes, Killer Seven, and he did a bunch of other stuff. He did a Let It Die series. Well, there's only just that one game, and then um, did another Death First game. But um, oh, he also did the uh, he and his company did um, the Fatal Frame Four game for the Wii. That was only released in Japan. Oh my gosh, is that supposed to be Jinx? That's supposed to be Jinx. <laughs> the Pokemon Jinx. Well, that's... I just noticed that now. Wow, I just... Only now just realizing that we just won that match. Alright, next item unlocked. I gotta get that chill strawberry. And cherry blossoms. That... Those are like the two cool ones. Goalie kicked the goal and uh, they're saying it was a uh, brother's kick football history a few days ago. Wow. Oh wow, what? I feel like I've seen someone wear this. But this is absolutely... Stunning. Very standout looking uh, sports shirt. Very chameleon, purpley. Very shiny looking. Soccer outfit rookie. Interesting. I wonder if there's like a pro version of this shirt. Alright, um. We'll continue. 
just keep on randomizing. I might just stick to the current outfit for a while. Ooh, we got some tennis. Here we go. Yeah, who knows? There could be... I mean, now that we have, like, Nintendo Direct and stuff, um, I feel like Devolver Digital could still do their, you know, the, the streams and stuff, like how they do every year. And... Man, they, they always... I don't know. They could definitely top the, um, you know, last year's. I don't know how they're going to top it, but... They, they, they're going all, like, Metaverse with all their um, presentations, so... We'll see how they do this year. Oh, man, why am I swinging that way? My characters went, like, left and then right swing. Where it's like the same sort of swing that I, I swung the same way, or first way. Huh? Zero, two. How come the neck guy didn't swing it um, on time? Like it, it hit it, but then like it went at an angle that I don't want it to go. I can't control that angle. Unless I... I don't know. Maybe I gotta time it right or something. There we go. One, two. That's still something. Yeah, they did the um, grass... So that was Grasshopper manufactured. They did uh, Fader Frame 4. Which is now getting a re-release for the Switch and other systems. Uh, Multi-platform release, which is quite nice. Ooh, that was a pretty tough shot there. Mmm, lucky. What? Man, how come my net guy was on the left and not the right? My guy just like went flying. Frying pan? Yeah, exactly. This is a new uh, frying pan, too. Oh. Couldn't tell whether that's going to go out or not. I feel like, I feel like it would have just hit the line and then I would have had a hard time trying to get it back in. Oof, I was thinking to use my net guy, though. Maybe I should just go towards the right. Three, four. I feel like they wouldn't be able to catch it whatever if it would go to the right. Alright. Oh. Yeah, I don't want to risk uh, using my net guy. Gotta cut between. That's how you get them. <laughs> we both have bunny ears. Four up. Oh! Little bounce. Get a little bounce, bounce. I'll get bunny bounce. shot yet. Man, how do you do a quick shot like that, though? Oh. 
Oh no! Hmm? My nut guy. Like, again, like, he positioned himself over to the left instead of the right. Or just go into the middle so that they can, uh, you know, reach the ball a little more. No! It went out. And that's two points that they caught up. What? That's so weird. Wow, that's game. Look at that. They cut up real quick. Man, I swung that one, but it wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't hit that one for some reason. Alright. Not too much of a loss. Still a little bit more to get the next item. Yeah, I'm curious to see what they're going to announce uh, in June. I mean, that's still like another three months away, so that's like another season, so... We're still pretty far. But, um... But yeah, no E3, that means there's going to be room for other stuff to announce during Summer Games Fest. And then, this also Steam Next Fest. That's going to occur around that time. So it's going to be a whole lot of demos. Brand new demos. That's going to be up on Steam. So I'll definitely be um, doubling a bunch of those again to play some more. But I think in that time I'll probably still be playing Zelda. Because uh, Tears of the Kingdom comes out later this month. So I'm pretty excited for that. I think I'll probably be playing that uh, once it releases and then throughout the season. I guess up till, you know, summertime. To see what they're going to announce. Um, in terms of like DLC for, for Zelda and stuff. Man, how come we didn't reach that one? Like how they outfit there for um, that pink haired one is like. So sort of reminds me of um, oh, one of the characters from uh, League of Legends. Annie. Yeah, her name is Annie from uh, League of Legends. Whoop, bump it up. Man. What an angle. I think I... If I'd aim it for the right side, it would just bounce it back to the partner instead. Oh! Look at that one there. Man, what? It's pretty wild blocking, man. Yeah, I gotta get it past the, uh, the character. No, my system. I feel like it's my turn to block. Got it. Man. Gotta get adjusted to the uh, timing of their blocks. Oh, nice one. Ooh. Wow, we are getting creamed. What is happening? We can at least get a score. Oh, there we go. We got one. Oh, you're like looking at the ball. Yeah, it's going to be tough to come come back from this one. Wow, yep. That's a win for them. Match over. Yep. I wonder if I'd aim for the left. There we go. At least we get another item here. Got it. 
There's the Easter eggs or pastel egg paint for the face. I don't ever want to use that one. I feel like that should be better designed. I don't know. It needs to be more like Eastery if you want to use that. Like design is okay. I feel like they could have more on the other cheek as well, and not just like the one side. <laughs> one of these names. It's a good time to hydrate. Oh, that the old guy there, um, the me character, kind of looks like um, Yamauchi, Hiroshi Yamauchi from uh, Nintendo. Or who was the Nintendo president um, back in the 80s, I think. It was a uh, son of uh, the first Yamuchi, so it's like under the same family. So his son took over uh, after the first guy. And the two of them look almost the same. But, um, but yeah, the. Um, the way they portray that character, or Yamuchi in the Tetris movie, was pretty spot on. Like, the likeness is to the T. Like, almost exactly alike. I don't know how they, they managed to find- oops, I need to bump the- they made it bump the, uh, the camera. Like, I don't know how they managed to find the guy that looks like him, but um, but yeah, they got it down really well. But yeah, it's a neat little drama history. Round one. They sort of, um, they sort of, like, made it more dramatic. But I guess that's the point, is to make it more dramatic than it actually was. But there's, there's like, really neat little Easter eggs in there. For the older fans. Ooh. I feel like I need to swing that a little more. Ba -da -ba -da. Oh, I don't know why I didn't go for the two pins. I thought that was going to spin a little more though. Yeah, I was hoping they would get, um... I probably shouldn't say it. But there is a Howard character in there. I won't say which Howard, though. Because back in the early... Uh, early 90s, late 80s... Um, well, I guess most of the 90s era. Uh, for Nintendo Power... There's a, a certain Howard... That uh, would appear in... Some of the issues... Of Nintendo Power. Um, and I'm talking about Howard, the Game Master, Howard Phillips. He was the um, pretty much the face of the marketing side of Nintendo, and he would know like a lot of the how to get past uh, a lot of the levels in some a lot of the Nintendo games of that era. NES to Super Nintendo. I think he mostly was around at that time in, in that era. And uh, there was like a comic book series based on him. Along with Nestor. So Nestor, they would have like little comics, little comic strips in each of the issues of Nintendo Power. And it was neat to see them grow. Like you grow along with those comics. And um, towards like the end issue of Nintendo Power, like some of the last issues, like the, I think at least the last three or last two issues, um, 
it, it finally showed that um, Nestor had a kid. So Nestor has become a parent in, in one of those uh, later issues. So it shows like the relationship between his uh, him and his son. Which is pretty neat. Oh no! I didn't think to uh, curve the ball. But yeah, um, really, it's, it's, some, it's something that you gotta like. If you grew up on Nintendo Power, like reading a lot of Nintendo Power, you would know. Um, you just you just know the characters, you know. It's like, what if Captain Keen, or what if Kevin Keen from Captain Men were to come back in some shape or form, you know? And then all of a sudden he becomes like a parent, you know, he, we, we see that he has a family now, and he becomes a family man. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty wild, but I don't think they ever would do that. I don't, I don't think... There's just like not many like different IPs that would um, make that happen. Because it was an old cartoon that used to air back in the early 90s. That, um, you know, fast forward like 30, 35 years, no one really knew about it, you know? It's like it's a whole new crowd now. Uh, a much younger crowd that's not even aware of these older um, shows and stuff that used to air on TV. Because they used to have like a, a, a Mario, Super Mario Super Show, animated series slash live action with Captain Lou. We had The Legend of Zelda. We had... I mean, they still continue the, the Super Mario series. So we had like a Super Mario World animated series that followed, you know, the previous one. Um, and then we kept, had Captain N, the Game Master. And then there's like Donkey Kong stuff. They had their own, uh, you know, CGI. That was, like back, back, that was like a little later in like 1995 or whatever. 1994, 1995. Um, Sonic also had, you know, its own anime series, Earthworm Jim. Like, those were the early years. But, um... But the kids nowadays, they don't, they don't even know what these characters even are. Well, aside from Sonic and Mario, those are the two that's still relevant. And, and I guess, you know, Link and Zelda and stuff. But, um, but if you watch Captain Net, you see Kevin Keane, the main character, and his dog. And, um, you would see characters from, like, other franchises, like Mega Man, looks so different in that series. Simon Belmont was like the comic relief relief in that series. <laughs> and even him, even he looks different from like how he looks in the games. But um and it's just the way they designed those characters for that show is just unique. Um they also had a comic series, Nintendo Comic System. And there was uh the Captain Men comics where Originally, it was supposed to be a Samus in her Vario suit, but when they made the animated series, it turned out to be Simon Belmont, so they replaced Samus with, with Simon. I guess, you know, because they wanted another male character uh, to feature in the show, uh, rather than another female character, because they had the princess from Video Land that would um, act as, like, you know, the female hero in that in that animated series, but yeah, it was a fun series. I like the vibe that they had going for that. I used to watch it um, a lot as a kid, catch it on TV whenever. Along with Casper, Scooby Doo. All right, I think we got eliminated from this, right? Yeah. But yeah, that's that a pretty good show. You know, that's that's something that's like part of our childhood that we not we won't ever forget. And I guess I guess it was partly live action. If you watch the intro, you would see the live action um, Kevin Keen just playing Punch Out on his NES Advantage. So he would get sucked into the TV along with his dog. I forgot what his dog's name was. But um, but yeah, the both of them would be sucked into Video Land. And then that's, that's how it, he was able to meet all these characters. Um, oh, and Pit. Pit from Kid Icarus was also a, a part of the, the N team, as they call it. So you had uh, Mega Man, you had Pit, you had Simon Belmont, 
and then you know, Captain and the Game Master. He would wear like a like an NES controller as his belt. Then he can press the pause button, so he can freeze all the enemies on the spot, or at least within the the proximity of the area. And then he can shoot with the uh, the NES zapper at the enemies. That was pretty cool. I've always wanted to like build a costume based on that character and then just cosplay as that character I just never got around to it but maybe someday I don't know Kevin Keen PAX East someday <laughs> Here we go. oh I landed right on that the, the, the mirror ball there All right, back to soccer. Hello. Good luck. Huh? I look like a Mr. Yamauchi, sort of, without the hat. All right, man. No one's covering the goal on our side, man. I feel like I, I should go back there or something. Wreck them? Wreck them? Oh boy. Come on, Wreck Team. Go for it. Why is he back here? Just go for the ball, man. Kick it away from them. I've already got a cover back here. And they should just go in there. There you go. If only they could just keep that up. Oh, look at that! Look at that! See? That's what you gotta do. Our blue team is just like kicking that ball over. <laughs> Come on, bring it to the side. Kick it to the left side. Man. These guys have no idea. Kick it down, man. Sheesh. I wonder if they, they even take notice. And yeah, no one's even down there. Look at that. What? Pass it over here. Eh, we're still winning anyways. As long as they keep the ball out, should be good. Nice! There you go. Sweet. That's another win for soccer. Soon we're gonna hit uh, 23 for A class. Cool. 
see what item we unlock now. Yeah. The monocle! I feel like once we unlock everything, we're going to be transforming into uh, the Easter Bunny. Pokemon XD costs like over on like about 200 bucks now. Holy moly! Wait, how long? I'm watching a, a, a bid right now on the uh, Pokemon XD. Wow, 175 with uh, six bucks for shipping. Hey there, Keen. Pokemon XD. Yeah, I still have my copy of that. Gale of Darkness, that's the one. Survival Golf. The contestants. Alright, so back to golf. Round one. Round one. Fight! Alright, at least you can get to the green. Nice shot. A little soft, but we might be able to make it. Oh! Into the bunker. Chip it in. Whoa! Nice. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Look at how close that was. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Man, we almost had that in there. That would have been a nice chip. You know, they, they haven't put out much GameCube games for, like, modern systems. They would always have to, like, remake it. Um, I guess if you count, like, Super Mario Sunshine, it would be as part of that, um, that Super Mario Animers Anniversary set. I wonder if they still sell that. It, it might have been... They, they might have took it off the shelves already by now, but, um, I remember when people went up in arms about, um, you know, how they only made it limited copies of that game. I mean, you can still get it digitally, I, don't, I think you can still get it digitally. But, um, in terms of physical copies, they only had, like, a limited amount, like a few thousand or something like that. But yeah, that would be one of the GameCube titles that's been uh, ported over playable for the Switch. Alright. Zero wind. Nice shot. This should land on the Fairway. Good. There we go. We got the farthest reach. So we can make it over to green. Nice shot. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Might be a little overboard. <gasps> what? Oh my. Wow. That is my first Albatross ever. Albatross. Not even an eagle, not even a hole in one. That's an Albatross. Look at that. Look. Hole in two. 
I will have to clip that one. Wow. There's no better shot than that. That is pretty wild, man. That is like very rarely attempted, you know? Man, what a lucky swing. What a lucky swing. I feel like I should have done like a like a peace sign as the ball is like flying so that other players can see it. I'll have to, I'll have to tweet that out. <laughs> once once I complete this session, I'm gonna have to tweet that out. Probably for tomorrow too. I wonder what it displays for the other players. Like albatross? Maybe there's like some sparkly animations for that when it pops out. That is pretty well, man. My first albatross ever. <laughs> wow, looking fancy, man. Albatross, minus three. 18 points right off the bat. No one gets that. I, I never see anyone get that. In any of the games. Look at that. Pretty wild, man. Semi-finals. Alright, I don't know about this one. I might want to go towards that way. Ooh, a little curve, but it's okay. Ooh, right by the, uh, the out-of-bounds area. Alright, nice little clearing. Let's see if you can make it here. What? What is even happening? That is pretty wild. That is pretty wild, man. What is even happening? Look at that. Mm, just let that replay. Wow. Albatross, now we got an eagle in two shots? I feel like this should be an albatross, too. <laughs> wow. It's pretty wild, man. Boom, 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 boom. Some lucky shots today. April 1st. Oh, I can't wait to unlock all the items. 14 points for that eagle. <laughs> Good luck indeed. Oh, tough course here. Might have to create a clip also for YouTube. Nice shot. This might be a little over, but actually works out pretty well. Mmm. Not too bad. Not the bad to. Nice approach. There 
we go. Gotta get the right feel. Are we going to reach, like, 50 points? It's still on top. Oh, look at that pose with the, uh, hand to the chin. Cool. This is the finals. Man, I think we might just surpass, like, 50 points. Which is probably a first for me ever. Hmm. <laughs> Get that stretch in. Final round. Good luck. Alright. It's gonna be a little bit windy. Ooh, a little over, but still pretty okay. Not quite on the green though. too much there. No! Oh my gosh. Gotta get a little softer. Extra stroke, which is fine. Oh, they got a par. Man, pretty happy with the, the albatross and the eagle earlier. My best shots ever. I mean, the eagle, I've had the eagles before, but albatross is like once in a long while. <laughs> All right. Let's see how the total is. I think we just have passed 50 points, so this is neat. Nice. Wow. 51 points, man. Go. Gonna have to screenshot this. Come on, bring up the points. We gotta get that A plus or the A. Wow, that's a that's a pretty big jump. Under par, under par 2, eagle bonus, albatross bonus, 1.2 event bonus. Come on, give us another item. Yes! Wow, three? Wow, three items. That's pretty wild, man. Let's see what we unlock. We got the banana. Banana stump. We got the titles. Solitaire, activity, team, effort. Cherry Blossoms! I'll have to customize it out. Very good. I don't think I've captured the, um, the part where it showed the, um, the amount of points we got for the Albatross, but it's okay. Alright, let's swap the, uh, the effects a little bit. Let's get the Cherry Blossoms. The colorful smoke is, is a nice one too, but 
Let's get the Cherry Blossoms. Uh, I think for Golf Club, I could probably swap this up. I don't remember how the Neon Club looked like. But I think I might want to go for the Space Golf Moon one. Yeah. I think the, uh, the regular one looks nice too, Space Golf Club. Alright, um, Celebrity Bowling Ball, I could probably swap it up to something else, maybe Robotic one? Robot or Bowling Ball Mod 2? Sword's okay, Frying Pan's okay. Hmm, Celebrity is nice. I probably use the, uh, oh, I think I had it to this one before, seafood version. See how it looks when it's like on the back side. Oh, it's just like the same. All right. Celebrity volleyball is okay. I think. Uh, I think the cool one is like another nice one. All right, let's go back. Still got a few more items to unlock. Man, that's three items in a row. Back to tennis. So far, we haven't had Chambara. We haven't had. Uh, what's the other one? Batman. Like, those are the only two missing sports so far. Hmm. Nice bunny ears. No, oh, I gotta do the peace sign for the bunny ears. Shot it out. Zero, one. <laughs> oh, I almost used my net guy to hit. Got it back. Hit the line. Oh, that was a weird shot. Noise. Oof. Don't hurt yourself. Man, I saw that dive just face flat on the ground. Right here. Oh, it's off camera. <laughs> it's off camera. I swung on that. Hold up. I swung on that. How come it didn't go? Noise? Huh? How come my back guy didn't go for that? Shouldn't he like dive towards it? Oh, shot out. I'm over here. <laughs> I'm over here. Oh, I didn't bring it up the right way. Oh, I don't know why I shot so early. Trying to realign my um swing. Man. Hmm. 
No! I keep on hitting out in that same area. Come on, that guy. Get in there. Yeah, try to get that back. Good game. A lot of bounce outs and, uh, and a lot of that, the wobblings. There are a couple times where the ball wobbled to us, but then we hit it back. Man, tennis. We gotta work on tennis a little bit more. Still at a B rank though, which is not too bad. Just gotta work on it a little more. Clay courts. Slows down. Oh, looks like we're going bowling. All right, we got the panda bodies, right? Pandas versus sharks versus rabbits. Bowling. Maybe we'll have some uh, some cat ear wearers. Let's go. Survival bowling. The contestants. Let me just my desk a little bit. Round one. And Jimmy Jams. Man, I feel like I I went up against Jimmy Jams once before or something. Jimmy Jams. All right, this is gonna be a tricky one. No, why did it curve towards the right like that? Shouldn't it curve towards the center? Alright, I'll try it again. There, let's go this side. Yeah, I should probably go from this side here. Yes, there we go. I don't know if that's considered like a split conversion or what, but we got the spare. Alright, we got two bumps. Am I still in the lead or something? Ooh, I don't know about this. Hmm. Let me try. Let me try a spin to see how it goes. Ooh. Okay. It's just two pins. All right. Let's go from this angle here. Spare it up. So far in third. All right, I don't know about this. 
I'm just gonna go from the angle here. Oh, <laughs> such a weak swing there. All right, let's try this again. Oh, how did I get? How did I miss that one pin over there? Wiggled a little bit. Didn't quite bring it down, though. <laughs> cool panda's looking cool. Cool. Moving on. Surely... Surely surviving this one. Round two. Oh, we got some swingers. Alright. I'm um, going to try to do a twisty. Twisty. Okay. I'm just gonna go for the two pins. I'll wait till it goes back. There we go. Like that is that is the average score right now. It's like in the somewhere in the fifties to the sixties. Whoever's at the top right now is getting, uh... They're gonna be reaching 70 soon. Oh, we got sliding walls. Thick ones too. Huh. Or I guess uh, wide ones. I don't know about this. Here. Hmm. Man, that first pin just like bounces it out. Okay. Let's try to get the rest of these. Ba 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 ba. Probably should not trust the uh, the reds. I don't know what the reds versus the um, the blue angle is all about. Come on, come on, come on! Oh yes, bring them all down. Right now we got a 69. I don't think we can catch up with a um, top player right now unless we roll strikes all the way. Mm. Someone just went live. <laughs> Someone just went live. We gotta leave a tap open for them. Oh. It's drifting in there a little bit. That is just a weird. That's a weird set of pins going down, and like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna get through this here? I'm gonna try and split the uh, the middle there, so you can get the uh, the outside pins. Oh, no! I saw how that pin at the front here just like spin, or it, it spun, and then didn't quite hit the uh, the one in the corners, but that is just a pretty tough one. As long as we still survive, though. Phew! Barely made it.
All right, I'm gonna try and do a, a curveball here. See what happens. Mm. Man, I feel like for some reason, like that first pin is just hard to like break through. No, man, with all the momentum, shouldn't it be able to like curve? I guess I don't know. Maybe that's just how physics work. I was trying to like do a twist, but I guess with those kind of ramps, probably does not work that way. I don't know. I want to try something different there, but I guess it didn't work out. All right, let's just do a normal roll. Ooh, now, now this one here. Just, just do like a full force roll. I haven't done one of these over here for a while. Like this angle, straight on. So, I don't know how this is going to work out. We'll see. Try to angle a little bit. Oh, see now that's what I'm talking about. We definitely need more of those. Definitely need more of those. Notice how I, I wound it up. A little farther, wound it out, and then swing and let it go. Like I raised the um, the arm behind me a little more, and that's what gives it more like force and stuff, more momentum. All right, I don't know about this one here, but I'm gonna try and try and do that that same swing again if I can. Man, that was slightly... That was pretty much the same kind of roll, but without... Without the momentum. So it's like a little less momentum there. Alright. Go, 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 go! Ooh, just that one pin. I'll take it. worth a game. Alright, just head on out of there. Finish. Come on, we still have yet to uh, complete this transformation. <laughs> we gotta get that bunny outfit. Oh, nice. Little by little. Little by little. Little by little. Ba -da -ba 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 All right, we got four. Now down to three more items. Nice. We got the chill strawberry. Oh, you bet I'm going to start using this one. That is like the coolest strawberry. <laughs> the, the, the chillest strawberry on strawberry cake. Uh, between the banana and the strawberry, I think the, the, the st chill strawberry is like probably the best one. Um, now I gotta find which one to replace. I'm not sure I wanna let go of the doggy yet. Doggy has been there for a while. Hmm. But you know what? I can probably bring the doggy back later. So right now... Oh, you know what? It could replace this one, the cool smiley. I don't know. I think, I think they're all they're all great. Probably just keep to that for for now. Yeah. Let's go back out. Oh wait, what? We got another shirt. Okay. How come this one looks a little bit different from the um, the other sports? Sometimes the, the sports logo would be like, it fills up the entire side of the shirt. But this one's like, like half the size. Okay, so we got that unlocked. 
I feel like I should have uh, clipped that so I can screenshot it for later. Ba -da -bum 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 -bum. Extreme mom. see what sports this is going to be. Volleyball. Volleyball. Here we go. All right. Let me down for some volleyball. Hello, hello. <laughs> we got an actual bunny here on our, our side. I guess Ethan didn't catch the uh, the memo. Wow, they did it like a late hit. Also, that skin for the uh, the volleyball is a uh, very colorful one. Oh, I get it. Mmm. Oh. Power shot, let's go. Nice. I feel like they could have gone for the right side. Oh, that's way too far. A little too far to the corner there. Power shot. Eh, why did they go for the left? Oh, that person got it. Power shot. Alright, that's a nice try there. Ooh. Good block. Good block again. I got it. This time I got it. Ooh. Nice one. Ooh, that was a good one, man. <laughs> Let's bring out that strawberry. That was a good one to snack on. Strawberry shortcake. Got it. Man, that guy shoots some tricky horror shots, man. Gotta be careful with that guy. Nice try there. Ooh, nice block. Man, they saw that opening, man. They went for it. See, how come my, my partner did not try to block him? Like, where was he trying to go? If he had gone to the irregular direction that he was supposed to, or usually would go to, he probably would not have aimed for that corner. And, yeah, you know, we would not fine, I think. Man, I had my arms up and everything, it didn't even hit the ball. Nice block there. A little bit of lag there. What the? A little bit of lag. Looks like they missed the ball, but. A little bit early. Oh, nice one. 
got it. Eh. No. Ooh. I don't know how that went like right past me. What? No, I shook my controller. How come I didn't even die for it? Man. I feel like this match is rigged. Probably due to the connection or something. Look at it. Oh no, it's gonna disconnect, is it? Player has left? Wow. See? Man. Shaking my head. Sometimes, it, it, sometimes it's like with the lag. And, and maybe it could be that other player's connection that must have uh, called it to, uh, to disconnect for them. Because it's happened before. And it's probably because, you know, sometimes there's a lot of reasons why that would happen. Because um, I had, I used to have uh, my Switch connect to the Wi Fi. And then I have a lot of, like, other gadgets around that's also connected to the same Wi Fi uh, network. And it will be around the Switch system. So. It's good, it's best to like move the system around and or other gadgets make sure it's not around the system. So, you know, the Wi-Fi would be clear of all inter uh, interferences. And not only that, but um, I had to... It's on the other side of like a brick wall for me. So, which is why I have an adapter for a LAN connection. And then it's connected to a, a different router an older router that still works, but I, I tend to use that old router for like, you know, some of the older devices, um, as well as a switch. Cause you don't really de need that much speed for, for a switch. But, um, but yeah, the LAN connection seems to work really well. Oh, uh, except when I swap back to Wi-Fi, and then that's when I guess like more issues. Oh, I might be a little overboard. Oof. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, man, I always end up in that same spot. Oh, we hit that flag. Sweet. Bring it in. Got a par. Ooh, wow, look at that. That's a cool roll. Nice one there. Well done. Mysterious Ninja Ammer. Alright, not bad, not bad. Looking cool. Bow, bow, bow. Man, can we get another eagle? I mean, I guess I'll be fine with birdies. I guess it depends on the course as well. Alright, let's get through the trees. Oh, we can go around. Ooh, little trails. Yeah, get on the fairway. Perfect. Right in the middle. Let's get enough shot. And go for driver. Oh, a little curve, but it's okay. Can we get past the bunker? No. Man. I think a little more 
a little better I would have gone over to the uh, to green we're been able to chip it in here let's go for a birdie Nice Lay it down real cool. What the chill strawberry. <laughs> I love that strawberry. That that is that is pretty cool. The chill strawberry. I like how his mouth is like all curved like that. <laughs> I feel like it should just be like the strawberry alone, because I feel like the cake takes up a little bit more space on the uh, the design of it, so we don't get to see the uh, the entire thing. Like he should be more centered, I feel. And the cake should be like I don't know, underneath. <laughs> Practicing those swings, I see. Shauna over here. Time splitters. Dino Crisis 2. Gamer mom. Shauna took her time. Oh, we didn't quite make it. Oh, we did not survive. Uh, even with that birdie. Finished. All right, let's head back out. Event bonus. Alright. Are we down to two more items left? Did I get the outfit? Oh! Yeah, we were. Again, we're getting really close to that outfit. Another set of titles Nutritious, Flower, Egg, and Discover. Flower Egg. Hmm. Good Luck Egg? Maybe I should do Good Luck Egg. Oh, Good Luck Egg. Good luck, Egg. Hmm. Or good egg. Hmm. Good luck, Egg. Good egg. I don't know. Alright. Let's continue. Ba -da -bum 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 -bum. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna go against um, all Eastern players from here on out. Get in there. Cherry blossoms. Wow, matching colors too with my outfit. Looking cool. 
I guess uh E and E class players. How did an E class player get paired up with uh with these guys? Alright, looks like there's someone at the goal for, for our side. Gotta push forward. Hmm. Ooh, look at that! Look at that kick, man! Wow. That's a very fancy kick. Let's watch that again. Oh! They didn't want to replay it. Didn't quite go in. Wow, the goalie just came in. Huh? They didn't. They, they want some of the action. Oh, look at that! Wow. Oh, we are just killing it right now. All the grams. Golden ball appears. Points are doubled. I'm just gonna cover a little bit here. I think if we score the golden ball again, or you know, getting four points straight off the bat would be um, automatic win for the game. Look how close we were, man. Imagine if I just like just all just go barge in there and try kicking them all in. That's a very dangerous kick. Probably shouldn't have done that. But, you know, we have to. Because if I didn't do it, probably wouldn't be able to dribble in. Oh, come on, get in! Oh my gosh. Blue's coming in. Where's our pink team? Hmm. How come no one really covered him? Like, I don't get it. Cause that's a tough spot to like cover, cause he's if he's kicking from that angle, it's gonna be hard to to cover that. Like no one tried to cover him for some reason. Hmm. Was no one really covering that? I saw the ball just go in. <laughs> oh man. My have the tables have turned. Look at that. What was what was the person like by the goal doing? Like, what were they doing? Yeah, 40 seconds on the clock. Let's see what happens here. Can we get another score in? Tie it up. Man, good thing they didn't hit that. Probably would have been in trouble because no one's covering the goal. Man, can they just like kick it? That's another score. No one covered goal. Like, what happened to everybody, huh? What happened to everybody? No one covered goal? Another golden ball here. Alright, let's see how the rest of the team goes. <laughs> it's probably the worst, like, game ever. It started out pretty well, but then, like, all of a sudden, like, no one was really covering it. Yeah, just, just score it in, right? <laughs> let's see how many uh, deduction points we get. It's almost as if, like, the team is like just trolling. Yep. Oh, not that much of a deduction. That was just a weird match there. All right. 
We're still going. We still need one more item to unlock, I think. Or two more, I think. Tennis. Oh, how did they get that, that font there? Neon? It's a rabbit. Going against two players, and they're both rabbits. Rabbit rabbits. You know what? I just thought of something. What if they have a tennis racket that had bunny ears? A rabbit themed racket. Tennis racket, I mean. Both tennis racket and also Batman racket. Bunny ears. Well, that would be pretty cute. No, a little early. A little too early there. Still hit the line, I didn't go for it. I feel like it did. Like, how come my character is like way, way off, so far away? Hmm. Try to get that in. Oh, that was a weird hit. I didn't have to handle it. Angle it uh, the other way. The character in the back would try to would try to run back. Probably won't be able to reach. Huh? Slight lag there. they even reach that? I'll watch that clip later. The net guy went like all the way to the back like that so quickly. Oh, <laughs> the both of them. <laughs> the both of them double bounce. Leap. That's like the length of the court, or, or you know, width of the court. I mean, yeah, look at how far he jumped. Mm, the classic uh, left and right, right. Goes out. Four, five. 
Well, that's a weird hit. It worked out. <laughs> oh, very weird hit. Wow, that's also another hit. That's like so weird. Come on, that guy. Realign yourself. I need him to be in the center, man. Oh, come on. Look at that. Come on, that guy. on that. Are we getting some spam here? Alright, we're still gonna be... I still feel like we still need to practice on the tennis. It's the one... It's the one sport that we gotta bring up to A-class. And also, um, I think we're, we're a little bit closer with... Um, with the golf for the B plus. Robot Blade Mach 2 for the Chambara sword. I might want to swap to that. Although the, the current one that I have set for it is a a very sparkly one. Each of these players got like some unique font. Alright, back to volleyball. I didn't even move my character to uh, to the other side. I was trying to see what would happen if I just only used that one Joy-Con, the right Joy-Con, and not the left. So I think for a situation like that, you'd still have to use the left Joy-Con to move your character. Gosh, like the outfit that they're wearing. The like Starbucks. I go with the, the coffee shop they have for uh, Spaco Square. It's called, I mean. There we go. Get a score. Power serve. Bring it back here. Come on, partner. My partner is just like... I don't know where they're at right now. <laughs> they're like not... I don't know what level they're at either. I didn't get to see their level, but um... I don't know. I feel like they might not be in focus right now. Come on, partner. What are you doing there? 
watching the grass grow or something. And they're asking for a quick. Oh my gosh, I thought they were gonna miss that one. Nice, now that's what I'm talking about. Get a strawberry in there. Ooh, power serve. Power shot. Oh. Gotta bump it up with a button. Oh man. Nice save there. Sometimes it takes a little bit of warm up. Oh my gosh. Bad timing on my part. I do it. Get him diving. Power serve. Oh, wow. Oh. Power shot. Oh man, nice try there. Truck, go for the corner there. Oh man, I slipped for that. <laughs> the quickness. That's a pretty high shot. Yeah. I, I tried to go for that one, but... Match over. Nope. Just can't. Too far there. Yeah. Replay. How come my partner was not... I don't know. I don't know what my partner was doing there. Oof. Big chunk. So far, we have not lost a level yet. Some of the points are, are really low on, on a couple of those sports, though. Blocking a slide attack. Alright. So we still need Batman. We still need Chambara. Oh my god, I just saw the... Uh, the multipliers just, like, swap. Alright. Um, I feel like I could lock it down to Batman and Chambara. But, um, I mean, there's one more item to unlock, so I suppose we'll just do this now. That way we can uh, go back to golf and stuff. Alright, let's try these two. Ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum. <laughs> yeah, I feel you on that. Feel you on that on this Chambara. Is that why they're playing this Chambara? Close caption just writes it out as camera instead of chambra. Chambora. Chambora. Chambra. Chambra. Jambra? Jambra, like the Bluetooth headset? Jambra headset? I don't know. Oh. Wow, we're going against an A class player, yo. Round one. Here we go. Ready? They got the celebrity set. Maybe they don't get the charge.
Yeah, they're trying to stall, huh? See that? I see what they're trying to do. Some lucky hits there. Let's see how we do on this one here. Ready. With honor. Yeah, I took the took the hit, even though they were blocking. Round three. Deflected off of that. That's okay. Ready. Fight. Took a late swing there. Man, how come it doesn't go sideways? Oh, I gotta do it like a... Nice one. Final round. Final round, here we go. May the best player wins. Ready? Yeah, send them the hearts. They probably hate this game, but let's send them the hearts. Send them all the hearts. Good game. Man, they played pretty well. Very well played. Alright. So that is the last item there. We got the final outfit. Pastel tail coat. It's a very like European design to it. Carnival like. And there's the bunny outfit. Nice. Completion bonus. Cool. So there's a um the one without the outfit, which is the under I don't know how they they call the um the sweatsuit. I don't know what's what's the under clothing that they call. I guess it's just a sweatsuit, right? I don't know. I'm gonna swap to that bunny outfit. Oh my gosh, that looks fancy right there. That looks like I don't know Bugs Bunny or something. Let us swap to that. Man, I forgot that the bird one was a thing. There's a burger one, there's the snowman one, the panda, there's a robot. Man, I love all these different bodies here. I think my probably my favorite is probably still the um the skeleton one. Lollipop, pretty cute. There's a soccer body one, there's a shark. Other robot body. Actually this looks pretty cool too. A little a little bit of Dat Punky with the suit and stuff. And then there's this a squirrel body, which uh, almost resembles like a cat. Man, I feel like this might just be the last bodies, right? Just look at how the um, how all the um, selections just fill up the screen. They could make some more room to maybe add two more, like a I don't know, I don't know what other kind of bodies they could add other than like cat, dog, and I don't know. But this looks complete. You know, there's the human body, there's a me body. You can also select, and that's about it. And go back. I like how the ears just flop, and the tail. 
Man, how come they didn't have uh, Nintendo Switch Sports over at PAX East? I feel like this would have been a great sport to to have part of the um, the competition that they had for Nintendo Versus. It would have been perfect, but um, they had some other games though in place of what was supposedly um, I forgot what other games that would that was supposed to do like Mario Baseball, either baseball or tennis. I think we did do the tennis one. What to call? Oh, I think it was a uh, Super Mario Brothers U. But the Super Mario Brothers that was for the uh, the Switch. So I've got what that one was called. It might have been the port of the Wii U version, the Wii U game. Also knows that the the nose wiggles too. But then instead they they um, they brought in Super Mario Brothers, the original NES for the Switch. Switch. Um, NES system. Um, hmm. Maybe I could probably change out the uh, the eyewear. Huh. Oh, yeah, the monocle, right? Oh, and the little glasses. There we go. Looking fancy. I patched out. Haha. <laughs> that me the, uh, the, the, the rimmed glasses. Oh, the shades alert are pretty cool too. I could do that. Sunglasses in black. Oh man. Alright. I might just have it uh, like this for a little bit. Alright, let's have some Batman. I gotta uncheck the uh, Chambara. Alright. Gonna get uh, at least like three hours of this session. We complete it in about two hours and 50 minutes. So far, we had uh, some very, very fair games, some highlight moments, especially the golf. We landed a, an albatross and an eagle. And then after that, we went a little downhill on some of the sports. But, um, but now we're trying some Chambra. We just won that Chambra match. And let's see how this Batman goes. Not sure if there's anyone else out there in the world that's playing this uh, Batman. So I feel like the uh, the more popular ones would be like soccer, bowling. Oh, there we go. We finally Happy. found one. Happy Holiday Tea. Let's go. Alright, Batman. We have to have at least one of these, each of these sports in. <laughs> Mr. Bunny Guy. I feel like I'm, I'm Bugs Bunny. And are we going against a bot or something? That don't seem to like, like, respond or anything. I accidentally pressed the, uh, the ZR. back. My server up next. Yeah. 
go. Kablam! Straight to the camp. Have to swing it to the to the right. To the corner. So far, so good. I like that little replay. The tip of the racket, I felt it. Bop. Yeah. Match points. Match point. Here we go. Gotta realign my racket. Do, 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 do. To win. GG. Kapow. Yeah. Let's get one. Ooh, can we get a 22? A22? Ranking up. There we go. A22. April 22? April 22nd? I don't know. You earn everything available. New items are added once a week. Alright, let's do one more round of golf. To maybe uh, wrap things up. One, one more sport to end it. We could think that the uh, multiplier is on there, so I'll add that. B plus for the bunny! I feel like I could add tennis too, but uh, tennis, I think tennis can wait. Bada -bum, bo -bum, bo -bum. Oh my gosh, that E, the me character. The Izzy, the cat Izzy. Bum, bum, ba -da -ba 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 -bum. Golf. Going for the golf run. It's time for golf. The contestants. Oh, we got one S class player. We got some A's, some B's, and C. Alright. Let's see how we do. Ba, 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 ba. Round one. Yay, we got the bunny. Matching pastel colors. <laughs> Ooh, very colorful trail. I tried to curve it to the right a little bit, but I guess it didn't curve well enough. Alright, gotta bypass the trees. If I can. Into the bunker? Yeah. Oh, 
onto the green. So you can get this in. Oh, man. I knew I had a feeling I probably should have uh, angled a little more towards the right, but it's okay. There we go. I hope we survive this one. We did not survive this one. Man, only five points. But we still got one more chance, I think. Oh, man. Did it go course? Alright. I don't know how we're going to do this one. Wow, 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 wow. Ooh, that was like a per perfect hit right there. Oh man, went a little bit into... a little bit too far there. Into the bunker. You're first on the green, really? Wow. There we go. Make it in there. That's not enough to, uh... Nice. Oh! I like how the expression there on the face. Well, at least we get to see something new for the, for the new body. Because I don't think the other bodies have, like, those sort of animated uh, face expressions like that. I kind of want to play another round of golf. Yeah, let's, let's do another round of golf. <laughs> oh! It's almost as if, um... When he snapped his fingers like that, like he was about to say something there. Like, oh, wickedy, or something like that, I don't know. Alright, let's just do one more golf. Got a twin. Ba -da -ba -bum -bum -bum. 
Oh wow, we started off with this course again. Alright, let's see if we can get the, the swinging right this time. Just A classes this time. A class and uh or two A classes and then the rest are just uh, underneath. Round one. Bam, 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 bam. Twenty-two miles, wow. Here, let's try let's try the spoon. I think the spoon is more Nice shot. Wow, it's like that. I knew I shouldn't have uh, went that far off. First on the green. And it's going to be a tricky one. I had a feeling that I was supposed to angle it a little more. Man, it's just like just like last round. Or just about. Except one more stroke extra. see how the results are yeah four points is not that great like one point away from my last round oh boy here we go yeah we gotta get like seven points or higher We better raise the points up on this one here. 29 miles per hour, okay. Nice shot. Wow, someone just went straight over to uh, to the left side. Stop, 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 stop. Wow, so close to the edge. Oh, can we actually make it over there? I feel like we can if we... Uh, I could skip this island over here. I don't... I'm, man, I'm not sure if I can reach it over there. I kind of just want to play it safe. Nice, on the fairway. Not quite on the green, but it's okay. Someone just had an eagle. Wow. It's not prepared for this. Okay, okay. Nice approach. Still points. Nice. It almost looked like uh, Easter eggs that were chipping in there. Alright, I don't think we, uh, we survived this one, but it's okay. It's a neat outfit there. Oh, that's a nice matching outfit right there. They they use the uh, the tracksuit, the brand new one, match it with the the witch hat from uh, October. And it definitely goes well together. It's a, like a more sporty witch outfit. Very sporty witch outfit. All right, we didn't do so well there. Man, 
Oh, there's a new expression there I hadn't seen yet. I kind of want to see like what other expressions they've got. Got to see how the um, how it looks when when the rabbit is like. You did like a, a good score. All right. Um, man, I feel like I, I I don't know. I don't know if I should do another golf match or anything. But you know what? I kind of want to at least get um. Like a win in golf. Finish. Just so I can see, you know, what sort of expressions they've got for the uh, for the new rabbit body. All right. So as long as we don't lose that amount of points, because I kind of want to keep the uh, the B plus. So I'll try one more, one more golf. And, um, yeah, this will be the final, final. For real this time. So I'm guessing... The rabbit only comes in one color. Like, it'll just be a blue-colored rabbit. Golf. Imagine having, like, a pink rabbit. It'll be like, uh... A Christmas story. Ralph coming out, walking like, a Let's go! The, the pink horror. <laughs> the pink nightmare. It looks like a pink nightmare! And then I'll, I'll change my my player name to, to Pink Nightmare. <laughs> I don't know if they have uh, titles based on color, but Survival that'll be a great um, great combination. All right, starting out with this course again. Really tough course. But there's a third try. Okay. It's a tough one. Yeah, definitely a rough one. Did not get the first on green, but we are closest to the hole right now. Oh man, like could have gone a little softer there, but can't really trust the soft shots. I'll take a bogey. Oh, they've got a darker blue right there. Darker blue. So maybe it depends on our hair color, our hair color selection, and maybe that's what determines the uh, the color of the bunny. I don't know. Unless I'm mistaken. Five points. It's pretty average. Oh man, we gotta gain some more points. I don't know what it is with these past few rounds of golf. They give us like some some of the roughest courses, but um, I don't know. Look, this is that same one again. So we may have to retry until we get better at it. All right, let's see what we can do here. Play it safe. Oh. 
Hmm, that sounds like it might be possible. But you know what, I'm just gonna play it safe and go this way. Oh, a little light there. Why did I do that? I don't know. I keep on making mistakes. I feel like I'm maybe starting to like... Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work out. But it's okay. We, it's worth uh, coming back and retrying this again. Wow, someone got a birdie. Chip in. Bogey, I'll take a bogey. Let's see if there's any new expressions for doing a chip in. Oh, I kind of doubt that we survive this one, but it's okay. See how we did. Five points again. Yeah, I don't think we made it. <laughs> We're at the very bottom. Alright, well. Nice game. GG. There's the expression again. <laughs> Looks fun though. Alright. I think that's it. Let's go back. Finish. Yeah. So don't get tired anyway, so. It was worth a retry. But I'll definitely have to come back to this to uh, see if we can get a little bit better. Bring the scores back up. We got some good uh, good shots, though. Earlier in, uh, in golf, when we were still energized. But now we're starting to tire out, so. I guess we just call it here. Uh, so this is going to be the last time we see set number 48, Angel and Demon, Reverse Colors. Uh, here is last week's set, Celebrity Collection. Looking like a smooth criminal. And here is this week's set, more Easter themed, set number 50, Rabbit Collection, Pastel Tail Coat, which is the, uh, the Rabbit Body's outfit. Rabbit Ears in one color. I guess the color would be based on uh, the hair hair color that you select, possibly. But I've only seen like mostly blues, like different hues of blues. There's the monocle for the eyewear. Pastel egg paint. Robot blade matu. Spiral curls. Imagine seeing that in like different colors. Uh, tracksuit camouflage. Oh, this was the that outfit that um that that one player wore. So they combined this, this tracksuit with the the witch hat. It sort of sort of worked well, at least from afar. Cherry blossoms. This one's terrific. Looks pretty nice. And then they got two new stamps. Devious banana. <laughs> Looking devious, devious as they do. And there's also a chill strawberry. Looking really cool. Like the, the curved mouth. And the shine on the sunglasses. Right in the sun. Laying on top of a cake. Fruit cake, I guess. Very nice. 
Titles include Solitaire, Activity, Team, and Effort. And then the other set is Nutritious, Flower, Egg, and Discover. And then there's the Rabbit Body, which I'll probably be wearing. I'll probably go back and forth throughout the rest of the month, so we'll be wearing this body. Um, probably until the... Uh, the final outfit arrives. So no idea if there's going to be any more bodies after this. Because it seems like when you're into customization, it's like pretty much just filled up already. Unless they add like two more slots for like two more bodies, then it could be more. Otherwise, I think this might be the last one here. And it, it would line up well as like, you know, the one year anniversary for Switch Sports. So yeah. Sound back is what we're gonna call it. Um, but yeah. Uh, so tomorrow, let me see. What's in plan? I think um, I don't know if I want to feature like, like ghost hunting game again, but I might. I don't know. Depending how I feel in, in the daytime, I, I might. I could pop on for like a, a couple rounds here and there maybe do like an hour or two hour or something like a short session in the daytime because I do have some other plans got some spooky movies to watch so I'm revisiting some some old ones or at least one older one and maybe one new one but we'll see uh, midnight ghost hunt if uh, you didn't catch the stream from last night we did a short Two and a half hour session, I think. Play it for the first time. The tutorial, but it, it, it was mostly fun during the end. Had a couple of fun uh, rounds in the end there. Uh, and I played more like off of stream earlier today. And got some good matches. I'm still learning though, but not as good as some of the other players. But um, there were there were some really um, intense matches and. Some hilarious moments that I discovered, but uh, but yeah, pretty fun game. It has a lot of potential, but I feel like it's one of those games where you gotta have a bunch of people playing to have a you know a more fun match. But even playing solo and playing against randoms, it's it's still pretty fun, uh, challenging as well. But I, I think it's probably best playing with people you know and then having like a private lobby. And, uh, and just go that way. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure if I'll, I'll feature it, but we'll see. Otherwise, um, Mario Party DS for dual screen Sunday. I think it's uh, it's definitely something I I could try to feature tomorrow. Um, probably gonna solo through it since it's on the Wii U, and you know, I just have the Wii U, and then. I, I do want to feature some some DS games, and that is one of the DS games that I want to feature, so... But yeah... We had some good rounds with Switch Sports tonight. Unlock the entire bunny outfit. Uh, may want to... Maybe tweet out that clip of the Albatross in golf. That's probably what, one of my highlights of the moment and of my playthrough of this series so far. Is that Albatross? shining moment and I'll definitely have to clip it on all ends of all the streams so Twitch side YouTube side and if I can clip on the other platforms I would as well then I'll post the um, the, the switch clip over to Twitter pause me tomorrow but anyways um, thanks all for joining in I'm gonna take off for now have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night and our day and I'll see you next one later. See you next time!